I do think baby girl is dreaming. I don't think she is awake. We're just going to silent her while we film. I think John is with her. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an introduction to the whole collection Project Pan. I didn't think I was going to do this project this year. Um, just because I just got my baby girl. My routine is not entirely good uh, yet. But it is getting better though. I'm wearing so much more makeup than I was in like November, December. I'm still in the group chat of the whole collection Pro Japan and they were obviously talking about the project and everything like that. Um, and then they started posting their intros here in the beginning of the month and I was like, I really want to do it again. So here we are. <laughs> I'm going to do this project again even though I said to myself I wasn't. I have decided not to do a project like the 20 in 2020 project plan this year. So I feel like there is room for this project um, as well. So what I'm going to do for this year is following the new rules new rules that we have in the group and that is how five of the products you are going to set a number goal on and the other five products you are going to finish or hit pan on so at least that is what i saw in linda's video and i thought that was a really good idea i don't remember i haven't followed along that intensely over the fall time when i saw that in her video i was really keen on that so that is what I'm going to do as well. So let me talk about the project real quick. This project is created by Becky Loves Kanga and you should definitely check her out if you haven't already. I really love her channel and I have been following her for a very long time. She is really cool and she has a good approach to her makeup collection. This is my third year doing it. So the first year I did it by myself and then I found Emily and Sarah. Last year we started this kind of collab where we talk about the project but we don't upload the same days etc so it's still a collab and this year it is the same thing we just incorporated some more free space around the products and the usage and stuff like that we are using or oh, most of us are using pretty random app and i have one to 286 last year and the year before i ha didn't include my nail polish but but because i really missed panning a nail polish. Can you miss that? Apparently I can. I didn't uh, do project polish last year so I decided to add in all of my polishes and base coats and top coats and stuff like that into my spreadsheet so I can choose that as well. If I didn't add in those nail polishes I only had 260 items. So we are going to randomize 10 products. I'm nervous as always. And another rule is that I don't want to have more than two of the same kind of product in this project pan. Because I am working on so many eyeshadows, uh, for example. I don't want five eyeshadows in this. Um, and blushes and stuff like that. That is just too much and unrealistic. So we only want to, or oh, I only want to have two of each product, kind of product in this. So let me randomize 10 products with you guys. The first one is 258, 239, 248, I feel like they are mostly lipsticks, 283 that is nail oil, <laughs> 195, Number six, that was a low number. Two twelve. One sixty three. Two more. Number three. That might be a primer or a foundation. Two two seven. We might be doing some re rolls. So let's check out the first product, which is two fifty eight. That is a lip scrub. Okay. In coconut from W7. 239. That is a bullet lipstick. A metal matte in SOS. Oh, it, that is the bronze one. Ew. 248. 
Derby 7 Pillow Talk. Queen of Hearts. Oh, that is a red lipstick. Okay. 283, as I said. Oh, that's my top coat. Okay, that is going to take all year. I am so bad at going through top coats for my nails. 195. That is a liquid lipstick. It's a NYX Lingerie in push up. Number 6. Oh, it's a concealer. A pot concealer. In fair, that is actually a good match for me right now. 212. Where are you? There you are. A liquid lipstick. So right now we have four lip products, two bullet lipsticks and two liquid lipsticks. This is a Velvet Secret in Maria. I don't remember what uh, shade that is. 163. No, that is a lip liner. That is a lip twister. And I can go through those rather quickly. So I don't mind that. And number three, that is a primer. It's actually the one that I have opened right now that I've used for like five five times. BS Cosmetics one, a new one to me actually. 227, that's actually a nude lipstick. <laughs> I'd rather have that one than the Metal Matte. But the last one is a re-roll because that came last. So let's re-roll that one. Oh, we already had that one. 48. I hope you got my reaction just before the camera cuts me off. 48 is a glitter palette. <laughs> so uh, let me uh, go grab the items and I will be right back. <laughs> oh, I'm cursed or something. Oh. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I have my products. I'm not entirely mad about them. Think about it, there's like a cohesive color story here. I don't know how my phone got that, but I'm pretty happy about it actually. Even though I have four lip products here. Let's just go through them and I will swatch them on my hand. The items that I can't swatch. We got the BS Cosmetics Primer. It is the Paradise Prime Mattifying Face Primer. It is a new one to me. It is the newest primer that I have, but it is also the one that I have going right now. I really wanted to try it and I really, really like it. As I said, it is new. I have used it like five times or so, so my goal will be to finish it. <laughs> I, I can finish it. I know I can and I know I can finish it before summertime, so I'm my goal is to finish this one. This one is a goal to head pan. It is the W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. And it is in the shade Coconut or Flavor or Scent or whatever. I have a decent dip in it right now. So I, as I said, my goal is to head pan on this one. I do believe I have pan on this one. Okay. So I can't have a goal to finish this this would that would be insane this is the w7 go concealer in fair as i just said i already have pan on this so my goal will be to use it 20 times i know i can't finish it this one because it's going to be too light for me in the summertime and i don't want to skip it for like five months then we have my W7 Nail Treatment. It is an instant dry top coat and it is almost brand new. It's clear when you get it on your nails and apparently I'm not very good at doing my nails. So this is going to be a challenge. Obviously I can't hit pan on it and I can't finish it this year. The last top coat took me more than two, one or two years to finish. So this is not going to happen. So that is going to be a usage goal as well. I was right about this one. This is the metallic mattes from Darby 7 in SOS. I actually had this in my... Um, round last year and I rolled it out at the refresh. <laughs> I found a combo last year that I really liked but I don't think I'm going to do that this year. So this is going to be a usage goal as well because there's no way I can finish this metallic bronze shade. That is so brown and it is so funny that I got this again this year. This is the W7 Pillow Talk Matte Cushion Powder Lipstick. 
in Queen of Hearts. So it is going to be a red one. So you can see there's this cushion and this is the product in here. Um, so like you dip your product uh, or your thing in there. It's such a fun product. I have no idea how to use these up or when they are done. I have no idea because you can't measure them. So there is... Okay, there's like half a gram in these. <laughs> 0 0.45 grams. That is nothing. I have no idea how or when you can call these done. I have never panned or used regularly one of these. And then we have my two liquid lipsticks. One I really, really like. This is the NYX Lingerie in push-up. I actually have two of these, unfortunately. <laughs> So that is a beautiful nude. I don't know what the, the, that will be finished, maybe. Then we have my W7 Velvet Secret Matte Lip Color in Maria. Maria? Maria? Maria is Maria in Danish. <laughs> so. so that is a beautiful pinky color. I actually really like this one. I'm excited about using this one. So that is going to be a usage goal as well. The last lip product is my W7 Lip Twister in Sinful. And I know I can go through these. So this is a goal to finish. But it is brand new. I have used it like one or two times. Beautiful color. And I do think it is going to go well with the lipsticks. Yeah, it is going to match uh, the Maria shade very, very nicely. And maybe it's going to be nice underneath the powder. I have no idea how to layer or use the powder lipstick. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know how they wear and I don't... That is going to be interesting. <laughs> but yes, I really like that uh, lip twister and I'm going to finish that one. Because I know I can <laughs> in like one or two months. Two months. Ew. Ew. Okay, I got my glitter palette here in uh, all the rage. That is disgusting. So if you don't want to see this disgusting part, because as you can see, it is that is disgusting. I'm going to declutter this one and we will roll again. Are you ready? Look at that. That is so disgusting. And this is liquid. Ew. Can you see it lifting? Oh, and the silver one is doing that as well. I have no idea if you can see that. That is so disgusting. And I do think that is mold. Ew. I think the red and the purple is doing it as well. You can see, like, the wear. But I haven't worn these in so long. That is so effing disgusting. That just means I don't use my stuff enough. That is so disgusting. Let me go check on my other glitters because then we can just choose another glitter palette if they are okay. <sighs> no. I'm just going to do all of them. Um, this one, can you see there's liquid right there in the red one? So I'm going to declutter that one as well. Where was it? Yeah, in the blue. So... I'm just going to declutter them, even though it's just a few that has started to go bad. Okay, maybe I have had them for like three or four years. Okay, that makes sense. So, let's re-roll. One. 36. 32. 36. Okay, that is a liquid liner, so I will be right back with that one. The liquid liner that I got is the W7 Petal to the Metal Duochrome Liquid Liner in blue no banging blue star yeah let's see how that goes but obviously i can't finish this so that is going to be a usage goal these are the products that i am going to set my a usage goal on and that is going to be 20 times so we have the top coat we have the brown metallic lipstick from W7, the Velvet Secret Liquid Lipstick in Mariah from W7, and we have the blue duochrome liner, and then the red powder lipstick. And these are going to be finish and hit pan. We have the primer, which is going to be a finished product. 
I'm going to Japan on the Dover 7 lip scrub. Then we're going to try to finish this Dover 7 Gold Concealer. I don't think I can do that, but I will try. I'm going to finish off the Dover 7 Lip Twister in Sinful. Then we're going to try to finish the NYX Luxury Liquid Lipstick in Push Up. Let me know if creating a window in it is counting as sitting pan. Because then I will be down for that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our end and are excited for me to do this. I'm really excited that I did it uh, because I got some really fun products and some good products I actually think. Even though there are a lot of good products. Check out um, Emily and Sarah and everyone that has joined in and Becca of course because she created this. I will have them all listed down below in the description box. Otherwise I hope you are going to take care and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.